Let's take a look at a few minutes at supernetting. Supernetting, we move the subnet mask the opposite direction that we did when we subnetted, which means that we're going to add bits to the host portion, which means that we're going to have fewer network addresses and more host addresses. This has to be done in a logical manner because we're still going to have to be able to have a network address and we're still going to have to be able to have a broadcast address. Let's take a look. We put it 192.168 dot and let's look at the dot 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and eight networks and see what we can do here in order to bring these things together. Uh, what, we, what we're doing here is being able to address a group of smaller networks as a single network address. So if we go in here the 192.168.192 192 plus 40 168 and then we're going to look at a number of other addresses and I'll go in here and put the 192, 168 so that we have those and again all we have to do since we're not going to change this octet we can just copy these things down and have the 192 and the 168. What we're going to do is again manipulate in a different area. We're going to manipulate in the third octet this time. So let's look at these things. 2 would be 1, 0, 3, 1, 1, 4, 1, 0, 0, 5, 1, 0, 1, 6, 1, 1, 1, 6, one one zero seven one 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 and then eight one zero zero. When we do these things, you can kind of see a progression here, I hope, but if we move this mask back one bit, notice that these two addresses, the two and the three, the two and the three here are on, let's see if we can highlight those, the two and the three are on the same network and that network is 192.168.2.0 because the network bits didn't change in the subnet mask, the host bits did and we have the possibility of having a network address because by definition a network address all zeros in the host we also have the possibility of having a broadcast address because the broadcast address is all ones in the host so we could put this in with the host addresses here i will take it out in a second because I want to do a couple of other things and we have a network address 192.168.2.0 and a broadcast address 192.168.3.255. They're all, they're both of these formerly class C networks are now on the same supernetted network. One of the things to notice is when we supernet we don't have a zero subnet ID, we don't have a broadcast subnet ID. So the only addresses that we actually lose is the uh, network address itself, the single address, and the broadcast address itself. I'm going to go ahead and put my zeros back in here because we want to move the mask again to see what we can do. If we move it one more place to the left, we've now got these two, the two and the three are together in the host bits but we don't really have a zero network. This was the lower one before but it now has a one in the host bit so we can't use it. If we went back, if you'll think about it, if we used the zero network 
right here then we would have the ability to do that but the zero which means we would also need to put the one in the mix to have a contiguous network address if we go down here to the four five six and seven networks we're going to see that they're all on the same network address and that network address is dot four dot zero the host bits are different on each of these we have a network address we have one that has all zeros in the host and we have one down here that has the capability of having all ones in the host so we can have a broadcast we have a complete network from network address to broadcast address so in this case by using the two bits we've combined four smaller networks into a much larger network supernetting has its purpose to put networks together the biggest thing that I can think of that we would want to use it for is for routing so that we minimize the number of of routes that we would have in a route table if we were using the four five six and seven addresses as individuals we would have to have an entry in the route table for each of those a 192.168.4 a 192.168.5 192.168.6 192 and 192.168.7 by supernetting them or treating them as a single network we only need one entry in the routing table if we needed to have lots of hosts on a single network we could do that with supernetting so supernetting has advantages in that it aggregates the uh, networks together so that they can be treated as a single network and simplify things when you go to do route tables subnetting takes larger networks and makes them smaller networks supernetting takes smaller networks and makes them larger networks before I stop this video let's do one subnetting example let's take 65.161.26.111 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255 excuse me 255.248.0 and let's find the the, the, the the things that we are looking for the first last network address and broadcast address we're going to use the interactive spreadsheet that's on your Moodle page because it'll do the calculations for me so 65 we'll go to 64 plus 1 65 161 1 128 161 and then 111 Let's see if we can get the 111 1 96 plus 8 okay 111 and we have a 255 255 248 so 248 is 192 224 240 248 I believe 248 so we can and these the 1 and the 64 and the 1 and we can and the 128 the 32 and the 1 and and the 64 and the 32 and when we and over here in the host bits we're going to get zeros when I talk about anding, anding is a boolean algebra operation where one and one is one and this is what the system does to determine the network address zero and one and these blanks would be zero zero and one would would leave a zero so every place we have two ones we're going to get a one when we bring it down into the uh, into the addressing since we're only going to work with the host bits I'm going to copy 
the network portions for the to the rest of the spreadsheet so that we don't have to type those in and here we're just going to copy the network portion so now then the network address we already have we've just created that because when we added the zeros we got zero in the host bits and by definition the network address is that address where the host bits are all zero the next one we need is the broadcast address and the broadcast address by definition is where the host bits are all one so we'll put all ones in here the first address is one plus the network address so we'll just simply put a one in the last bit and for the last usable address it one less than the broadcast address so what we could do is put in a broadcast address and then put a zero in the last octet so by doing that process the network address 65.161.96 by writing it in binary and applying the rules of subnetting 65.161.103.255 is the broadcast 96.1 one greater than the network address is the first usable 103.254 one less than the broadcast is the last usable address. I think I said broadcast here one plus the network address is the let me fix the ending mistake here which you probably have already seen one and one here is going to be one and now we can copy this down and we're going to get a little bit different network address uh, first and last they're already filled in the network address the one with the all zeros 65.161.104.0 the broadcast address all ones in the uh, host portion of the address 65.161.111.255 the first usable address a one in the last bit of the address itself one greater than the network address and it becomes 65.161.104.1 the last usable address is the broadcast address minus one we'll put a zero in the last bit of the address when we did this we were given the subnet mask so somebody had made a decision as to how many hosts we needed on a network or how many networks that we needed you have to know one or the other and you can't create addresses out of thin air whenever you do this we're still limited in each octet to 256 total 254 addresses so if we were moving around in a class C network we would still only be able to have those total number of addresses uh, they're not created out of thin air they are all mathematically sound. So this is an overview, a look at how to supernet moving the subnet mask to the left and how to subnet moving the uh, bits to the right as we do these things. You notice this thing was originally a class A network so we have created a huge number of subnetted networks. I hope this has been useful and thank you for watching.